Tis another bloody morning in the realm of Warhammer in Tilea in Estalia. We are playing the Warrior Priest. That's right, folks. There are witches on the prowl. And we gotta put a stop to them. Warrior Priests belong to elite militarized sects of the Empire's various religious organizations. Whilst all priests are expected to bear arms in defense of their temple, faith, and most are at least proficient in combat, only a few march to battle alongside their Templars, the Imperial Army. These warrior priests have a threefold responsibility, ministering to the unfaithful amongst the army, Offering spiritual and tactical advice to the army's leadership. Smiting the unfaithful in the battle. When war comes to the temple, cult's warrior priests take charge of its difference. Defense. Marshalling the rest of the cult to repel attackers. Warrior priests are usually members of holy orders. Such as the Sigmarites of the Order of the Silver Hammer. Most warrior priests come from the cults of Sigmar, Ulrich, Hermidia, Tal, and more. Although other cults are not without a few token militant brethren. Types of warrior priests. Sigmar, in particular. Warrior priests of Sigmar are rather common in the Imperial Army particularly in places such as the Reichland. Ulrich. Warrior priests of Ulrich, more common in the rugged, warlike north, such as Midland and Nordland. And more. Though not strictly warriors, the priests of Moor are often forced to defend themselves and are staunch opponents of the undead. They are potent force on the battlefield, or who would be more feared than a representative of the God of Death. Ulrich is God of Wolves, War, and Winter. In some of the northern provinces, he is venerated even above Sigmar by peasants and nobles alike. Those who enter his priesthood are fierce and hardened men, embodying the primal nature of their god. Grim warriors in their own right, these priests are able to instill in their comrades the cold howl of Ulrich, inspiring them to feats of bravery and savagery. Warrior priests of Ulrich, also known as Wolf Priests and Ulrich's Champions, or Mighty Zealots of the Ulrichan Faith. Blessed by the Feral God himself, they take to the battlefield to spread the Gospel of Ulrich while spilling the blood of many enemies who would dare to oppose them. In provinces such as Middenland and Nordland, Ulrich is worshipped above even Sigmar, for he is a god that represents the rugged north and was worshipped by the mortal Sigmar himself. In the north of the Empire, life is harsh, the winters are freezing, and the soil is poor, and the forests crawl with goblins and beastmen. Ulrich is the state patron, as he is as harsh as the land itself. And strength and independence he expects his form. 
his followers hardens the people to the austerity of the extension existence. Ulrich's warrior priests reflect his quality. All clerics of Ulrich are ferocious fighters, for entry into the cult of Ulrich is forbidden to those who are weak. This is because Ulrich is a warrior first and foremost, expecting his followers to meet problems head on and by force of arms whenever possible. In battle, the priests of Ulrich are the embodiment of their god, swinging their axes and swords and crying oaths to their enemies with the ferocity of the wolf god himself. The fighters around them are filled with courage, and the faith and strength of the warriors of Ulrich is indomitable. The priests could be embodied with the divine fury of their god, calling upon the chill of winter or entering a furious rage to slaughter their enemies. Divine Lore of Ulrich The cult of Ulrich practices different rites according to where the warrior priest is from. In the northern reaches of the empire, most Ulrichan temples teach prayers that focus upon their deity's winter aspects. Ulrich, Snow King, Farther south, including most of Middenland, the temples still practice rituals revolving around winter, but they also learn prayers spoken during war. Ulrich, White Wolf. Lastly, some far-flung temples, including many ideologically on the fringes of the cult, focus solely on Ulrich wild patronage of war and include some of the cult's most fearsome warriors, Ulrich Bloodhand. Warrior Priests of Sigmar, we must be ever vigilant, for if we become unwary and weak, the enemies of mankind will devour us utterly. Place your faith in Sigmar to protect you. Place your trust in the Emperor to lead you and put your strength in the sword to deliver you from those who would destroy the Empire. The warrior priests of the Church of Sigmar are a warrior sect of Sigmarite priests whose duty it is to not only lead and inspire Imperial troops on the field of battle, but also to minister to their spiritual needs against the Empire's foes. Sigmar is a warrior god, and to pursue his creed is to live a life dedicated to battle for the good of all mankind. The cult of Sigmar demands that its followers fight all forms of evil in the world with the strength of their arms as well as their faith, and many of its priests accompany the Empire's armies when they are marched off to war following and honoring that creed. It is thanks to these tireless warriors that a rousing speech by a warrior priest of Sigmar has restored the troop's faith, brought hope to a seemingly lost cause, or prevented a mutiny when the words of even the most respected commanders had fallen on frightened and angry ears. Throughout the Empire, it is considered only right and proper to honor all the gods, and even those priests who serve only one deity will still show respect to other gods in appropriate situations or when portfolio is predominant. But where the older gods are seen to care little for the plight of men, Sigmar is the patron of the Empire and its people. The reason why the people of the Empire often refer to themselves as Sigmar's people and venerate the sigil of the twin-tailed comet. This remains true in every province of the Empire, 
even in those places where Ulrich, Tal, and the other gods are more actively worshipped than the Heldenhammer. The High Priests of the Cult of Sigmar is known as the Grand Theogonist, and he is served by two Arch Lectors. Beneath these officials, all three of whom serve as full electors of the Empire, are the warrior priests. Almost every town and village in the Empire has at least one shrine dedicated to Sigmar, and so warrior priests of the deity are a common sight wherever the right of the Empire's law extends. In battle, the power of Sigmar stirs within their hearts. His divine might is their command, allowing them to perform extraordinarily miracles in the name of their god. So long as their faith in him remains strong, a priest of Sigmar can unleash the Heldenhammer's wrath to smite creatures of darkness, like demons and undead or even less malevolent beings like forest imps. Call upon divine protection for fellow Imperial warriors engaged in battle to enhance their defenses, or even return a badly wounded comrade from near death, miraculously healing all his wounds. To see such blatant signs of Sigmar's favor fires the hearts of all men and leads them to redouble their efforts to defeat the foe. Warrior priests of Sigmar normally wear mail or full plate armor underneath their holy vestments, wield the mighty warhammers that are favored weapon of Sigmar, and ride into battle atop powerful imperial warhorses. Among the most commonly employed divine powers of a warrior priest are prayers. Although we offer blessings upon a departed soul that more may allow it passage through the realm of death, the soul is not our concern. The soul belongs to more. Our concern is the body. Our rituals ensure that the body remains just as it is. That it is properly sealed and sanctified. Lest something enter into the cadaver shell and corrupt it, or worse. There are many religions in the old world, and many gods worshipped. Or, the god of death is no exception. Most people within the Empire fear a priest of Mor. For most people fear the unknown, death, no matter how religious the individual, is an unknown fate that none can escape, and the priests of Mor remind everyone of their own mortality, a reminder that most would sooner not have. However, despite this perceived prejudice, the priests of Mor are indispensable in the services of their render. Loved ones must be cared for properly when they die, for those who are unloved must be properly taken care of. The importance of funeral rituals is acknowledged by everyone. For more times than anyone cares to remember of the dead, the uncared for dead, risen up to terrorize the living, and though sword and hammer will partail the unliving, only a priest of more can put them to rest good. Though not strictly warrior priests, the holy men of Moor are often forced 
to defend themselves and are staunch opponents of the undead. Dressed in the plain black robes of their faith, they seek to ensure the souls of those who have died safe passage and, more importantly, that the dead remain as such. As priests of more rarely engage in martial activities, they are often only armed with ritual dagger and a scythe as a weapon. Scythes are normally implements used in the fields by farmers. It is rare to see them wielded as weapons, as warfare. However, the scythe also carries with it an image of death. It is in the symbol of the reaper, the representation of famine and starvation and disease through the lack of harvested food. Priests of Moor, when they need to, may carry a scythe as a weapon. They are of heavier manufacture, designed to reap warriors rather than wheat. Because the scythe is unwieldy, it must be used with two hands, and cannot be used with another weapon, shield, or buckler. Many of these elite knights of Moor attached themselves to Morian dignitaries, providing protection and adding to the priest's sinister atmosphere. It's the cult of Tal and Rhea. By earth, tree, and bone. Common oath given by the cultists of Tal and Rhea. The cult of Tal and Rhea is among the most ancient and pervasive in the Old World, tracing a direct line to the primal gods from the deepest of history. The cult grew organically as early humans tried to explain natural phenomenon, such as thunder, the turning of the seasons, and the rise and ebb of the seas. Over time, the gods came into being, beginning as a single entity known as Ishnernos. This split occurred many thousands of years ago and the cult of Ishnernos faded into distant memory. Tal runes, or Tal rules nature and is considered king of the gods. He claims the wild places as his domain and is primarily worshipped by hardy woodsmen, trackers, and rangers. Raya's Worshippers are found in the cultivated fields and orchards of the Empire, and are found among farmers, fishermen, and young lovers everywhere. The cult of Tal and Raya is sanctioned cult of Talibekland, and is wildly popular in the eastern and northern parts of the Empire. Of the two, Tal receives most recognition, and Raya role is most diminished. The grand city of Pal or Talibheim is particularly fervent in its worship of both Tal and Raya. However, in other cities, although Raya's name is commonly known, the worship is rare, leading many urbanites to conclude that her cult is the is on the decline. Tal represents the power and majesty of nature, both the physical world of stone and wood, but also the primal urge of life within all creatures. Tal makes the rain fall from the sky, the rivers flow, the animals breed and multiply, and the plants grow. 
He is not only the physical heart of a person, but also the spark that makes the heart pump. Tal represents vigor and growth in all its forms, especially the traditions from childhood and adulthood, when life is at its peak. Raya, Tal's wife, is the nurturer of people and the land, where Tal makes the wild lands develop unchecked. Raya looks after the fields, orchards, and log livestock of humans, instilling growth for heavily crops and meat for all. Raya cools and tames the wildness inspired by her husband, transforming it into maturity and wisdom. She is also the patroness of love, and thus is fervently worshipped by young lovers or those hoping to bring love into their lives. Raya also governs carnal acts, though few worship her openly in such a manner. Indeed, such thoughts are considered scandalous and rude among most people. Lovers may utter her name during passionate moments, which priestesses of Raya claim is sufficient respect for the goddess. Let me show you what I'm working with. We are playing the warrior priest today, folks. Oh, man. It is some good stuff playing as shield spec. We are grace. We are beauty and grace right now. So, we have our full duelist gear. Nothing too special. Level 29 stuff. It's good for level 29. We are 32 right now, but we're gonna slowly make our way to 35 because we want to make sure that we have enough officer emblems to have the entire set before we even make it to 35. So, how about this? Got duelist, some green belt. I kind of went defensive for the belt and cloak. And then that's kind of a piece of crap. And yeah, so nothing amazing on the rings. The rings definitely need it. So maybe we'll get lucky with some RVR. But uh, yeah, this is damn right champion of more of the Ordos Hereticus. I'm going in. Oh shit. It's gonna start getting really fucking angry at me. Ah! I'm fucking in. They're retreating now. Bulk you cook. Shit, we got some fighting. Oh 
shit, fucking get him. Yeah, that's right, bring it on. I'm about to get the fuck in there. Oh man, this is ridiculous. Bastard. Oh, 
Oh, that's crap. Oh, shit. doesn't even know. Oh, shit. these fuck it Shit, I got silenced. It really sucks, because after a while, I'm repeatedly hitting my abilities. To the point to where, even though I'm rotating between using action points and grace, if I don't give myself, like, a little breather, then I end up exhausting my entire pool of action points, and then I can't generate anything else, so that's not good. Oh! Here comes the level! Ding. Alright, let's see how we did on healing that time. Alright! Top in the chart. Ah, uh, gotta love the sound of the war horns.
good glory, we are just destroying people to right now. Oh my god, what is even happening? What? I think they just freaking left. Oh shit. I think we might be unstoppable. Oh dear, this is not good. I'm sorry to these folks, but they are totally dead. Oh. This is fucking insane. name caner oh you guys want to play then eh Leave. Damn right. That's right, Cynic. You're damn right. Oh, good glory. That is fucking OP as fuck. I feel like this, uh... If this is a thing, everybody else needs a rework. Who fucking did that? Where's... There he is. Where the fuck... Is my... There he is. Get over here, Swordmaster! You're getting fucking taken out! I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you! Fucking moron! Just kidding. I'm only kidding. That you're actually a genius. Cause now they're all here. Come on, boys, let's show them how to have a good time, shall we? Oh, I am stunned. How about a blasting pot, bitches? Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh really? I thought I did like 10 times more healing than that. Oh well. Wow. That's absurd. Hello. I got stay in power, bitch. Oh my god, that freaking zealot is standing here. Oh no. Sneaky little bastard. Oh. This ain't gonna work, folks. Perry? What the fuck? have a bit an ability that just like naturally cleaves it's freaking OP as fuck <laughs> oh, no, he went down. Too much pressure. farm now. Oh man, that guy gets eaten alive. Oh, <laughs> 
By the luck of Ranold. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh oh. it up on damage too holy shit so here you go so here's my gear we are full duelist right now level 29 gear so nothing too special some toughness wounds which you know you can actually go more strength and the rings aren't anything to be a hold but yeah we have the shield here pretty sweet and then also have for our tactics. Leading the prayer. Whenever my prayer of devotion heals one of my group mates, you will also become healed for the same amount, so that's nice. Uh, Grace of Sigmar. Here's the kicker. Healing from life taps are increased by 25% when wearing a shield. Divine Strike will hit up to two additional enemies 25 feet from the target. Divine Fury increases my damage and yada yada. But yeah, it's freaking amazing. Then I can click somebody else in another group and heal with my Divine Strike, and holy shit, it is fucking OP as hell. It's, like, the best way to heal in a scenario. In large scale, it does not work. I'ma tell you that right fucking now. Oh shit, son. Should have pressed my heal instead of buffing him. This is my sacrifice. I'm healing my my party members while sacrificing my own health. And look, I can just fucking regain like crazy. Hell yeah. And the more damage I do, the actually, the more healing that I get out of it as well. And also I'm being guarded, so that really does help. <laughs> but yeah, excellent passive healing while DPSing. It's pretty freaking cool. It's, it's way cooler than, uh... Oh, my casted heals suck, though, by the way. 
But look at that, I'm doing... Oh, well, that wasn't just me, but I, I do some pretty decent damage. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Target somebody else in the other group and heal them while I'm DPSing. Oh shit, no! Keep hitting, keep hitting, keep hitting, keep hitting. Yes! Holy crap! That was brilliant. Oh man, he's almost dead. There we go. Oh, he went too close to the guards. Still got me though. Er, on healing. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> oh, good. Well, would you look at that? It's a raid. Oh, goody. What is up, everybody? Welcome on in. We are just fucking doing it up. Playing the warrior priest, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, this poor guy is having problems. I think that guy just DC'd. But hey, what is up, Gravord? How you doing, my man? Good to see ya. Did you have a good stream today? Is this the OP pre made that? Destro weaklings cry about in five. Oh, have they been crying about me? Excellent. Tell me, have they been saying the cursing the name of damn right? Cause you damn right better believe they are. Why is weakling censored? That's fucked. I don't know, that's weird.
What can I say, my friend? We have unlocked the powers. Here they come. The ultimate thing to defeat a marauder is a grace priest. So much grace, so much beauty. Watch my pirouette. Ooh, I'm silenced. Can they still parry from behind with their ultimate? I don't know. All I know is that I'm actually taking a lot of fucking damage. Yeah, you can totally uncensor things, by the way. Um, okay, sweet. He's grabbing. But yeah, we are playing Shield Warrior Priest as the healer. Oh man, it is a lot of motherfucking fun. We have been wrecking house, and people hate our faces really bad. Holy shit. He just fucking leaped up there. Bro, you better get the fuck down. I only have slight heals right now. Oh shit, here they come. Oh shit, not good. Not good, mates. Wait, yes, very good. We are doing it. Take them out. Oh, I'm stunned. By the righteous might of Sigmar. Oh shit, don't you die, boy. Oh no, no, no. Come on, baby. We are keeping it going. Oh, he's parrying. He's parrying. It's got time to switch targets. Oh, shit. Yes. The ultimate heal, baby. Oh, shit. Take that, you son of a bitch! Oh shit, he fucking melted. Oh, that's why, cause all the fucking ranged are up there. Holy shit. This guy should be pretty squishy. We're holding him off, boys! Uh-oh. Sork is on us. You know what? Think about that. Ha! Oh, a zone locked, and I got a white bag. Ain't that a happy surprise? Wail him down, boys! Oh, yeah. I definitely need to do more of that. I keep forgetting about my Divine Assault. How about now? Divine Assault, baby! Of course it has to hit. <laughs> oh, shit. I cracked myself up. Oh, man. This guy's getting toasted. Oh, can we make it? Can we get him in time? Oh, man, that was mean as fuck. That was fucking mean. Ooh, goddamn. What happened to that guy? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Full motherfucking uh, offensive healer. Oh, yeah. This black guard has no idea 
Woohoo! Controlling this map now. Going in. So fucked up. Oof. Damn. Damn. Most OP class in the game. More healing than me. Goddamn. That's fucking bunkers. Bunker cakes! Oh shit, son. Oof. 
Oof. God damn. This is not fair. Okay. Well. Wow. That was... Boring. Too close for comfort. I say this is probably the best way to get revenge on a chopper. Goodness, I don't even... <laughs> I almost freaking died there. Yeah, you ain't shit. 
because of me. Good glory, and doing a fuck ton of damage. Wow. This is fucking insane. Squishy, he'll hit you. Water fight. to coming down here. Oh, damn, still Make sure that you follow and subscribe. Don't forget your Prime. So you can join me Monday through Friday, 10 to 5 PST, and support the workshop. As always, folks, thank you so much for joining me. I will be here tomorrow, continuing with the Warrior Priest and its incredible OP factor. But as always, guys, Take it easy, rock on, and keep fighting the good fight. Yeah!